at the end of the uh, campaign, it was discovered that only 213 men had been killed and 456 wounded out of the 30,000 involved. And Hitler is delighted. So Student is promoted to Colonel General and the Fliegerkorps is double in size to a full Luftflotte, which is number seven, uh, the air landing Luftflotte. It contains Fliegerkorps 11 and Fliegerkorps 10. Student is told to prepare for a special mission as yet unspecified. The industrial priorities of transport aircraft are changed to meet the increased demand for, um, they now need about a thousand um, uh, transport aircraft to meet, to be able to transport all of these troops. Um, and also the transport planes are equipped with long range fuel tanks. The, during the uh, training of so many troops, uh, the, the an effort is made to fix the problem with the parachutes, which sort of basically drop the uh, German troops by onto their faces, or onto their knees, and a new parachute harness is designed. So the uh, invasion of Crete uh, finished only a m less than a month before the start of the Operation Barbarossa. And so although they started to transport the troops across to Russia, um, they didn't get there in time to be involved in the invasion. Uh, many army commanders requested involvement of paratroopers at the front of their spearheads to take um, uh, bridges and so forth. But um, Student refused to allow his troops to be employed in small groups. He wanted to save the whole corps, or actually it's an airborne army really, um, to be used together on a prestige target. And because of all this, uh, there are no paratroops drops in Operation Barbarossa. However, uh, in October 1941, the uh, paratroops start getting all sorts of messages indicating that they have to go to um, the southeast of Russia. Um, and something is obviously up. And it seems that uh, Hitler had hoped with Operation Barbarossa to get to the oil fields by August 1941. And he now sees the um, paratroop divisions as the only way this is going to happen. So by this stage, they have um, now got um, two Flieger Corps, and in them we have. Um, uh, each has one paratroop division and a mountain division at, and also uh, other um, air landing troops. They have core troops and light artillery and one of them also has a tank battalion. Attached, they will also have the support of the 8th um, Luftflot uh, commanded by Richthofen. Um, they need um, 500 JU-52s, 72 DFS gliders, and 70 ME-1 and 10 long-range fighters as uh, glider tugs. The uh, tanks by this stage could possibly be transported by aircraft because they had the ME-321 Gigant and um, which was designed specifically to carry tanks. And also they had the larger gliders available, which was the Gotha Geo 242. So their capacity to carry uh, heavy equipment had increased dramatically, although not many were available at this stage. This also meant that they didn't have to build quite as many Joe 52s and uh, DFS 230 gliders as they would have otherwise because some of the um, uh, Gothas and Gigants were equipped with engines and used as transports. <laughs>